This past summer, I worked photographing a variety of golfing events from Corn Ferry Tour to PGA Tour Championship events, the BMW Championship specifically, and through photographing all these events and taking thousands and thousands of golf photos and putting myself in various situations, I was able to hone in on those skills and able to really identify what makes the best golf photography images. And I was able to capture some absolutely stunning images from these many rounds of work. So today I'm going to go through some of my favorite images I was able to capture this summer and why I like them so much. on my website benefitsmyportfolio.com and if we go under the sports photography tab we're going to just start exploring some of my favorite images and immediately right off the bat the first image that you see if you come into this section is an image of Michael Thorpe Johnson the best player in NCAA college golf right now a future PGA Tour superstar and what I love so much about this image is just the timing, and timing is everything in sports photography, but especially so in golf, and you get the chance to photograph some of these big-time names and these big-time players, and future stars, who knows what this guy can turn into, the next JT, next Spieth or Fowler, but just an absolute beast on the golf course, and you get so many images of him, but this really stuck out for me because of this little tiny detail. He just hit a monster drive down the fairway, and to be able to capture his tee pointing directly down at him, no, I did not put that in Photoshop. All these images are directly from camera. I didn't add anything. It's just a stunning image of him just full swing. You get the crowd so you can tell where it is, the WGA Western Amateur Championship, and just an absolute perfect timing moment. And some images, it's about lighting. Some images, it's about who you're photograph photographing in the atmosphere. This one's just about pure timing, and that's why I just think this turned out so good. If I had my chance to do it over again, I think I would have framed him up more in the middle, in the background, but I think if I remember, so there was a lot of distraction, a lot of, you can see it, I'm speaking out a little bit, but a cooler sign and not as many people. So I wanted to still keep a clean background with the people. And this was the only way to do it. And I think it turned out just absolutely fantastic. The next image, another image from the WGA Western Amateur Championship. And this might be my favorite image I captured over all summer. And all these are fantastic, but this one really steps out because it's all three things that I talked about before. Perfect timing, perfect just lighting and just perfect situation framing. It's just, I, I couldn't have asked to be any better. Maybe if I was situated a little lower in eye level with him, but just how the golf course was situated, uh, standing right a little bit above him, but just sunset hour, finishing up his round in a pop bunker, green side, just takes a big swing. And you can really just see the full on effect of, this swing with all the little sand pebbles, you can see his eyes just so clearly. And the biggest thing, getting the golf ball with his eyes, that's the hardest thing about this golf photography is you want those facial expressions. That's what makes any sports photo. You need to see their face and their eyes, but then also gain the ball. You can't have a golf photo without a ball unless it's a fantastic crowd in the background, a, a fantastic emotional shot. But this one just perfect. You get the trees rolling off in the background so you can tell that it's a golf course. It's just, I just could not have asked for any more and just so sharp and so detailed in the shadows. It's just just an unbelievable sign for one of my favorites that I took this summer. The next image we have on that, this turns away from the men's side of it to the women's side of the golf. And this is the women's amateur championship so the kind of flip side of the men's and this one the this course I remember being very hilly and very lots of different terrain and so I knew I wanted to take that to my advantage you have to play to the advantages of every golf course every golf course is going to be slightly different and you want to accentuate that in your fellows especially 
in the atmosphere. So for the BMW Championship, I focus on the crowds. Corn Ferry Tour, it was a local event. So I want to focus on the local talent, the atmosphere, and the people that came out to see it. And for these ones, you maybe not get as much people at these events. It's about focusing on the players, their expressions, and then also the golf course. Each golf course is unique, and this one had a lot of hills. And as you can see here, she was on a massive down slope for a second iron shot, and it was just perfect time and perfect frame. And right in the center, you get that her slope, but your eyes immediately go to her, the just expression on her face in full concentration, and then it bounces it out because you got her in the middle, you got the golf ball in motion up top, and then you got the aftermath of her hitting it out of the rough, very green shot, but I don't think that distracts from how just your storytelling. I think the biggest thing that I found when for photographing so many images is you can get a lot of the same shots from these people and same golf course shots as putting, those driving. And the biggest thing that differentiates it, especially in the context of the days and which days are better than others, is the amount that you're able to story tell with the images. So, of course, this isn't a solo images. There's images that go along with it that to help tell the story of the full event and full day and the full tournament. But this is just one that I picked out that stood to me, I think was just fantastic in storytelling of what the course was like and what just tough to aim they were playing on. And just actually just technically a fantastic shot as well. This next image, the BMW Championship, just... I, I was so lucky to be able to photograph these and photograph the stars of the sport. Roy McIlroy, Jordan Spieth, John Rahm, Sky Sheffield, just the biggest names you can think about in golf. That's why I think everyone kind of dreams and imagines of the top levels is photographing the best of the best when doing it. So the BMW Championship here in Scotland here got the chance to photograph it. And I have a whole editing breakdown on how I transformed this image from its original to what you're seeing on screen now. But just loved how this image turned out. You can just see the mass amount of people and crowds that were there at the BMW Championship. And everyone, all eyes on Roy McIlroy, the best of the best, their phones out, catching him. I, I did not capture the ball, the golf ball. And this one was, like we said in the last image, is, is the key moment. But it got replaced by this fall through and just absolute amazing grass at Pat's flying up above the crowd. You can tell he just hit a ball. You can tell the ball is probably just out frame. And then, of course, you have the best player in the world, Roy McIlroy, just taking a shot to his fame and all these people. I think the storytelling aspect's perfect. And I think it does not work without this piece of grass, this divot flying through the air. It's evenly and masterfully shot. You have him on the left side of the image, and you can tell he's saying to Right side, you give plenty of breathing room for the fans that are watching him and their heads turning towards the ball. One more spectacular image. This was from, again, the lowly hilly fields of the women's Western Amateur. And this one, just simple, simple background. There's no ball, just a little bit of grass. But why I think this makes it so good is just the the coloring again this we talked about this in max home that's not the most interesting image this is not the most interesting image there's no ball you don't know where she's really hitting to you don't know what shot is you don't know if she's missed the green made the green but just just beautifully just colored you got the bright green the blue and then her pink shirt and her full swing you got her full body the hair extended i think it just is colored so well and that's some of the things that you have to look for is the lighting and i think the lighting again was just perfect on that one so it's, again so many images that i could have chosen but just a ton of fantastic lessons i took away and i hope to continue um for track photographing uh these golf events and some more absolute beauties um in the future